Do we, sound designers, like to be relieved by some software magic to spare time and nerves when making basic sound design? Yes, we do. Was there an app before Kratos Studio that was able to make such things? I am not sure, I guess there was not. Definitely not for that amount of money. Because basic version is free and Genesis Soundpack, which I bought to test it with my workflow, is just 29 bucks. Let's go in depth with Crodo Studio. My name is Kuba and this is Cactus Sound. In this video, I'll be trying to answer the question can Croto Studio change my way of creating sound design? And I'll try to answer doing simple sound design work and comparing time spent and the result with the classic way I would do it using my sound effects browser, which is currently Soundly. What exactly is Croto Studio? Let's find out what they write on their website. Crota Studio is a sound platform for all skill levels for creating Hollywood sound in seconds. Stop spending hours searching, editing, layering. You can now create unique and unlimited variations of sounds like never before. Crota Studio is being built to become the sound solution for your projects. You will no longer have copyright issues. You don't have to spend hours trying to find the right sounds anymore. You can now create unique sounds using presets that will never repeat. They can last as long as you want them to, from 3 seconds to 3 hours. Print each layer of the ambience discreetly to your timeline as you can in other Crotos plugins. You can now adjust single elements, adjust levels or remove elements that are too present in the mix based on client feedback whilst keeping the feel of the rest of the ambience. This workflow is fast, flexible and efficient, providing a significant increase in speed and workflow within your projects. Crotos Studio works as audio suit in Prodles and as a standalone app. I'll show you how each option works, but first let's go through the UI. What's worth to mention in the beginning is that this Crotos Studio thing is still in its early phase of development and basically everywhere you can read that more sounds and features are coming soon. For example, this edit tab is not available yet, but it feels like it should give us some nice controls in the future, so maybe it's worth waiting. Back to the UI. On the left side we have sound effects categories, you can choose between ambiences, cinematic, footsteps, foley, whoosh, interface, vehicle and weapon. Inside each category you can choose a subcategory or whatever you want to call it. For now, there are plenty of ambiences which I like and use in fact, some fancy cinematic risers, basic footsteps and foley's and a nice place to fill with more sounds later inside interface, vehicle and weapon. After we choose specific, let's call it subcategory, we can modify or randomize the sound you want. But randomize is another feature to come in the future. And here magic happens. I'll show you that on a few examples and just shut my mouth up for a while. It all works most of the time as XY path and by dragging your mouse you choose amount of specific values and elements you want to hear. And sometimes you just adjust parameters with knobs. Let's go and listen to what we can actually do here.
that's pretty impressive for me because of the quickness of delivering the sound you need. It seems that sometimes it's faster than going through your libraries, even with Soundminer, Explorer or Soundly. And you can modify it on the fly. But what now? As you may have noticed, when you start listening to the sounds you want, there's a, a recording indicator below modifiers. After you stop clicking or click the stop button, it's preparing WAV file for you and you can either render it with Pro Tools audio suit version into an audio track or if you are using standalone app, you can drag and drop WAV file into your DAW or editing software like DaVinci or to folder on your computer. The rendered sounds are 24-bit, 48 kHz stereo files. Maybe for now, maybe it will stay like this forever, but considering it same as me, so as a basic sound design tool to work with video commercials, movies, it should be enough. To grab some context, I created a short video with freebies from Pexels.com and every sound you'll listen to with it is made with Crota Studio. Of course, I chose scenes that can show this app's capabilities and I did it on purpose. I'll be recording the whole process to see how much time it took to make it usable. I'll create some simple background sounds, foley's and transition sound effects. After that, I'll do the same with Soundly in the way I do it every day, count the time and we will together compare the outputs. As you can see, time difference is really minor. What I've done is just simple sound design, finding sounds that fits the image with a little bit of mixing, adjusting gains, doing fades, color coding the session, preparing for further work, like adding additional plugins, reverbs, patching through different buses and other stuff. These are just some sounds laid down under a video. Let's have a listen to what I did using Crotto Studio. It works, every sound placed here sits just okay. Of course, needs some further tweaking and further mixing, placing things in space, for example. But overall, it's okay. Crotus Studio did the job correctly. Now let's have a look at Soundly example. Of 
course it may sound better in few moments and that's okay and that's what I was thinking before doing this comparison. It's because I had access to all my libraries and sounds I was able to find ones that may fit better with the cuts or just had more flexibility in terms of layering them together. Can I point a straight winner? Not really. Both workflows and both sound designs had their moments. Let's talk about what I liked more in Croto Studio than in Soundly. Generally, I hate doing long scenes where people walk. I am thinking seriously about investing in Edward Foley contact instrument or something similar, but it costs money and for now I am able to finish all my jobs with just cutting and editing my footsteps libraries. With some pain, but I am still okay with that, more or less. In Crotos app, I just chose my shoe parameters and clicked in the tempo I wanted, so I just had to do minor tweaks in terms of syncing to the image. Clothing for me sounded a bit better than what I had in Soundly, and the ease of generating ambient sounds is really helpful. What was better in working the classic way? As I just said, layering ambiences and the variety of sound I can choose from is obviously the biggest advantage in working with any sound library browser. And it's limited only to what you have available on your disks or clouds. Besides, if you know your sounds and you know how to use metadata to find uh, what you need, you are able to do the job really quickly. So time for the verdict. Proto Studio could be huge if there will be more sounds to choose and more parameters to tweak. But for now, it still does the job. Uh, just when you decide to work with it, you need to be aware of its limits to not get pissed when you reach its limits. Genesis pack, which I got and costs 29 bucks, is an okay option to start using Crodo Studio and learning its capabilities. I really hope Crodos will expand its features and sounds, but if you have some amount of sound libraries and additional plugins like Edward Foley or similar, I am not sure if changing to Crodo Studio is necessary. It looks like it's a good option for people getting started with sound design or video editors wanting to spice their edits a bit, especially with these cinematic sounds and ambiences. I am not discrediting Crodo Studio. I have really strong belief that one day it will become a real game changer. Just need some more things available to be fully usable for pros. If you reach this moment of the video, please write an answer to this question in the comment section. How do you call a fly without an eye? And if you like what you just saw, give me a thumb up and click subscribe button, because over 80% of you, my viewers, are not yet subscribed, which really doesn't help with growing my channel. And just a little summary from me again. Talking about today's condition, this app is fully usable, pretty easy to operate, and quality of sounds generated here are very nice. If you need a tool for simple and quick backgrounds or follies, it's definitely capable of helping you in short amount of time. I personally will follow its development, adding new libraries and features. Maybe one day it will become so powerful that you won't need any other thing to fill your stuff with sounds? Probably not, but I wish it all the best. For now, also I'll try to use it as often as it will make sense within my projects, just to get used to its functions and capabilities. But can it change my workflow at this moment? Yes, it can, just because it is present in it and it wasn't before I purchased it. It is not kicking out classic browsing through my sound libraries, it is an addition that can handle some things better or quicker. But for now, it is not taking over Soundly, Explorer or any other pieces of software I am using on a daily basis. That's it for today. Check out Crotos Studio and write in the comments how you see its future. Until next time.